local charity, which was supposed to help police officers and their families, instead paid most of the money raised to an Arizona telemarketing firm. The Overland Park Police Officers Foundation is now at the center of a criminal probe. Game is tonight's Andy Alcock investigates where your money is going. As KMBC first reported in May 2022, that criminal investigation is based on an audit of the charity. A year and a half later, Johnson County District Attorney Steve Howe confirms that criminal investigation is ongoing. The Overland Park Police Officers Foundation has been shut down since that point. However, the website Charity Navigator gives the foundation zero out of four stars and a 6% out of 100 rating with a warning, proceed with caution. Federal tax records show from 2017 through 2020, outreach marketing raised better than $1.2 million for the foundation. The charity was given less than $331,000 of that money, while outreach was paid nearly $936,000, or 74% of it. Four Overland Park police officers involved in the charity's leadership have been on paid administrative leave for the last year and a half. Kansas City, Kansas attorney James Spees is not involved in the case, but had this comment about the paid leave. That's money that could be spent on police officers who could be on the streets, helping uh, you know, enforce the laws and keep the community safe. I think the taxpayers in Overland Park should be outraged that you have four officers who are getting paid for not working. According to records KMBC obtained from the Overland Park Police Department, those four officers on administrative leave have been paid close to half a million dollars while this criminal probe is ongoing. At the Overland Park Police Department, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. We're not identifying the four officers because they haven't been charged with a crime. We've tried to speak to a representative of outreach marketing without success.